Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this warm and cozy yoga practice. My name is Daria, if you're new here, welcome. And so it's the day after Thanksgiving when this video is coming out. And so I wanted to create a flow that's a little more gentle and a little bit more chill and also something to celebrate the start of the holiday season. So this practice is inspired by flavors of warming spices, things like cinnamon and nutmeg and cloves, all of those like rich and complex and just cozy, comforting, spices. So all you'll need for this practice is yourself, a space to move, and maybe if you've got family around, have them come do some yoga with you. But whenever you're ready, let's get into it. We'll start today from a kneeling position. So come up to your knees and then shift your hips back to sit on your heels. Palms can either face up on your thighs or down, whatever feels better. Softly close your eyes and allow your shoulders to fall down your back. Take a moment here to feel your body. Check in with how you're doing physically, mentally, emotionally. What are all of these states like today in this moment? And as you watch and observe, try not to attach any judgments or form stories around what you're experiencing, but rather just allow it to flow through you. It's almost as if you're sitting at the bottom of a pool of water and any thoughts or sensations that arise are like ripples at the surface that you're watching from below. Begin to feel breath moving through your torso and start to deepen the breath so that it becomes a full body experience. Take a big inhale through your nose, fill all the way up to the tops of your lungs and a big sigh out of your mouth. Let it be cleansing and let something go on the stream of your exhale. Again, inhale, breathe into anything that feels intense or sticky or hardened. And let the exhale be like a warming, fiery exhale that can soften around the edges of these sensations. You can take as many clearing breaths like this as you really, really need today. And then begin to breathe in and out through your nose, sealing your lips to create some heat with the breath, Ujjayi Pranayama. Now start to call your mind to all the flavors of warming spices. Pick a few of your favorites. Mine are nutmeg specifically and cinnamon and the two of them together. And there's a richness and a complexity and a sweetness to these flavors. Start to imagine what it might feel like if your full body was infused, steeping in these spices. Now, as we begin to move and to flow, imagine that your movement and your breath are like the stirring process so that the spices can fully absorb into your body. It's like an infusion of warmth and coziness. Blink your eyes open and then walk your palms forward. We'll come up to hands and knees, tabletop. Step your right foot out in line with your hip and then stamp it down to the mat. So big toe, pinky toe, and heel are all rooted. From here, inhale, soften your low belly, lift your tailbone, spread your sitting bones wide, and then engage your low, middle, and upper back to traction your heart toward the top of your mat, cow. As you exhale, round and curl, hollow through your core, send your tailbone down, press the earth away from you, and then soften the back of your neck. Inhale, cow, stretch your spine evenly forward and back. Try to open the front line of the body and contract the back line. And then exhale, reverse that. So contract front body, swallow up through your core and press your spine up toward the sky. Inhale, cow. And exhale, curl. 
Come back to a neutral spine. Stay with your right foot pressing out to the side and then begin to walk your fingertips forward. Any amount, it might be really subtle. So maybe you come down and you can bring your forehead to the mat or maybe you release your chest and your chin down. It's like puppy with the leg extended. Try to keep your hips floating over your left knee. And breathe with depth and allow the back of your heart to melt to the core of the earth. Relax your eyelids, your jaw, and your cheeks. Press down into your palms and begin to crawl your fingertips back in, stacking palms beneath shoulders, and then draw your right knee in. And now step your left leg out to the side, root your foot down so that all four corners are anchored. As you inhale, find cow in the spine, stick your butt back and press your heart forward. Then as you exhale, round and curl, use your right toenails to press the earth away, claw the mat with your fingertips and drop your head. Inhale for cow, keep anchoring the knife edge, the outer edge of your left foot as you lift your gaze. Exhale, round and curl. And once more. Inhale for cow in the spine. Exhale, cat. Deeply arch. And then begin to walk your fingertips all the way forward. Maybe staying on fingertips. Keep your gaze melting to the top of your mat. Maybe release your forehead and maybe the chest and the chin come down. And breathe along the lines of your left leg, the extended leg, the outer line and the inner line. Feel as though your leg is lengthening. And soften your shoulders. If you feel a lot of compression between your shoulders, you can try widening your palms to create more space in the back of your heart. Press down and then walk your fingertips back in. Root them under your shoulders, palms under shoulders, and pull your left knee back in. Then tuck your toes, press down and forward through your palms, and take a really slow, gradual transition up and back to downward facing dog. Imagine that your sacrum is on a string and it's being pulled evenly up and back all at once. Feel into all the points of connection between your palms and the earth. Try to become really sensitive into the bottoms of your hands and the bottoms of your feet, so much so that you can feel the texture of the mat beneath you. Pull your finger pads toward the center of your palms. Keep a micro bend in your knees and see if you can Press your heart closer toward your thighs. Take any organic, sweet movements that want to express in your first downward dog of practice today. And allow yourself to drop any ideas of what this shape should feel like and instead actually feel, feel it. Feel it in reality rather than from expectation. Take an inhale to lift your heels, really articulate through your feet and slowly roll up to the balls of your feet. Then we'll step one foot at a time all the way up to the top of the mat. Draw your toes behind your wrists, the feet are hips distance apart. Soften your knees generously and drop your torso over your thighs. Let your head fall forward. You can reach for opposite elbows, breathe into the sides of your body, stretching between all of your ribs, and allow this surrender to be a thorough one so that every, every vertebrae is stretching away from the one before it. And then draw your hands to your pelvis. So your elbows can point up toward the sky. Press down from your pelvic floor to your heels and then rise up to stand with a flat back, clawing your toes into the earth. Release your palms by your sides and draw your feet together to touch. 
As you inhale, press down into your feet and then circle your fingertips out and up overhead, fingertips float. As you exhale, right arm comes down beside you, lift up and out of your left side body and then stretch over toward the right, creating an arc. Contract right side body to expand the left, lift your gaze inside your left elbow crease toward the sky. Then inhale, rise through center, all 10 fingertips lift. Exhale, left arm comes down, right arm reaches up and over. Gaze up and keep your core connected as you slide your right shoulder down your back. Inhale, rise, all of your fingertips overhead. Exhale, cactus your elbows, hug the back of your heart with your shoulder blades. Create a little bit of a buoyancy, a bend in your knees, and then pull energy up from your feet to your pelvis. Use this to keep lifting the front line of your body, then lean back into your back body, puff your heart toward the sky, lift your gaze. And then rise up, Tadasana, all your fingertips lift. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold, reach back with your butt and forward through your heart, drop your head. Take an inhale for halfway lift, stretch your spine evenly forward and back, reaching crown of head and tailbone away from each other. As you exhale, plant your palms, step back to high plank. In your high plank, dig down deeper into your palms, press the earth away, and then lengthen back through your heels and forward through the crown of your head. Shift a little forward, bend your elbows, lower down, chaturanga. Untuck your toes, inhale, press to upward facing dog or maybe cobra if that's feeling better in your body today. Shine your heart to the top of your mat. Exhale, glide back, downward facing dog. The hips go up and back. Take one breath here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Step or float there, feet are together. Take an inhale for halfway lift, elongate. Exhale and fold back into yourself. Inhale, Tadasana, root down through big toes, pinky toes and heels as the fingertips reach up with the same amount of stretchiness. Then exhale, side body stretch. Right arm comes down, left arm reaches all the way up and over lengthening and then curling. Inhale through center. Exhale, left palm comes down, right fingertips reach up and over. Big rainbow arc. Inhale, rise. Exhale, this time you can either stay with the cactus or interlace your fingers at the base of your spine. Draw the heels of your hands together, micro bend your elbows and squeeze your shoulder blades to the midline. Then again, feel that rush of energy, like you're pulling the earth up from your feet to your pelvis, then from pelvis all the way to your heart as you lift your gaze and start to lean into your back body. Then use your core, rise all the way up, fingertips float high. Exhale, dive down, forward fold, release your low back. Inhale, halfway lift, get stretchier and longer like you're made of taffy. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank, shift forward, lower, chaturanga. Option to come to your knees if that's better. Untuck toes, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more round through this sun A sequence. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose, press down and forward through your palms. Inhale, gaze to the top. Exhale, travel there, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and bow forward. Inhale, Tadasana, rise high. Exhale, left fingertips reach up and over. Inhale, rise. Exhale, right fingertips stretch toward the left. Inhale, rise. Exhale, back bend, any variety. Do whatever you want with your arms. This can be really subtle or maybe it's a bit more expansive. Press your pelvis slightly forward. Keep length in the front line of your body. Use your core to rise back up. And exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms plant, step or float back, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Take a moment, a pause here to feel the heat beginning to build in your body and assimilate, acclimate to all these warming sensations. On your next inhale, stretch your right leg high, three-legged down dog. As you exhale, lift your left heel, hug your knee really tight to your chest. Heel is reaching towards your sitting bone and then try to connect knee and nose. Inhale, kick high, three-legged down dog. As you exhale, we'll step the right foot all the way to the top of the mat, but step it outside of your right hand so we're in a wide lizard stance. Now from here, Anchor your palms either to blocks or to the mat. Pull your feet together as you inhale, like you're gonna jump forward, stretch your heart to the top of your mat. And then as you exhale, bend your elbows deeply and bow your heart forward and down. Again, like that. Inhale, pull left foot and right foot toward the midline. It'll create buoyancy in your pelvis so it will actually rise. Exhale, bend your elbows deeply. One more time, inhale, reach longer, lengthen your spine forward. Now exhale, bend your elbows and maybe lower elbows all the way to the mat if it's available. Hug your right knee towards your right shoulder and keep your left knee lifted unless the heat in your legs is feeling like a little too much today or it's just not what you're here for, you can sink the back knee down. Try to keep stretching your heart to the top of the mat. It's like you're pulling your elbows back towards your left toes and the heart is shining forward. We'll take one more breath here, a big inhale through the nose. Let the exhale wash through the front of your left hip and your outer right hip. And then we'll rise back up to palms if you're not there. Now sink your left knee down to the mat if it's not. Start to shift your hips back, pull your right foot and your left knee toward each other and stack right knee over right ankle. So creating a 90 degree angle there. Now as you inhale, pull your hands back towards your left knee, stretch your heart forward, creating a flatter spine. And on the exhale, bend your elbows. Maybe come all the way down to elbows and we'll stay for a few rounds of breath. If you're not on elbows, you can stay on palms, but try to keep that length in your spine. Keep your outer right hip pulling back and your left hip pulling forward. Wherever you are, create length in the back of your neck. Soften it so you can stretch from the base of your head through the crown of your head. Stay on elbows or press back up to palms. We'll shift the hips forward and down now so the pelvis is melting to the top of the mat. You can stay here or take your right hand to the inside of right knee, roll onto knife edge of right foot and just press the knee gently open toward the side of your mat. And if you'd like to twist a bit deeper, you can lift your gaze up toward the sky as you spiral your ribs toward the right side of the mat. Release everything back forward so all of your toes point forward, come up to your palms. We'll lift the left knee, shift your hips back, press the earth away from you, and step or glide your right foot all the way back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your left leg high, three-legged down dog, right knee stays micro bent. As you exhale, hollow your core, pull your knee to your chest and see if you can connect it to your nose, just try. Then inhale, three-legged down dog, left leg sweeps high. Exhale, glide the left foot to the top of your mat, but step it to the wide edge, outside of your left pinky finger. Stay with the right knee lifting. As you inhale, pull your feet together. As you exhale, bend your elbows deeply and cast your heart forward like a spotlight. Inhale, ride the wave of your breath and let there be a lift in your pelvis as if you're literally riding a wave. And then the exhale is the flow back down. One more time, inhale, inflate with breath. Exhale, sink and settle, maybe lowering down to elbows or you can stay with the elbows bent, whatever you need. 
as we stay and breathe for a couple of rounds with the right knee lifted or lowering if you need. Try to rock a little forward and back like you're creating really subtle circles into the outer left hip. Lengthen the back of your neck, stretch the crown of your head to the top of your mat. And keep some connection in your core, so keep pulling navel to spine. Rise back to palms if you're not there and drop your right knee sweetly down to the mat. Then pull your feet toward each other to shift your hips back. So left knee stacks over the left ankle, 90 degree angle there. As you inhale, pull your fingertips or your hands back towards your right knee to puff your heart to the top. And then as you exhale, bend your elbows, maybe lower them all the way to the mat. And there's a bit of an action of sticking your butt out here so you can imagine that you're doing that. The sitting bones are stretching away from each other and then the heart is magnetizing forward. Allow your breath to carve more space into points of stickiness. And like a massage that softens and erodes the tension one little bit at a time. Start to press into your palms, maybe shift the hips forward. You can stay lowering down to your elbows or stay lifted onto palms. Then we'll roll to the knife edge of left foot, widen your left knee, take your hand to your thigh and create a gentle twist, a gentle pressing open. Maybe you float the gaze skyward as you revolve your ribs to the left side of the mat. One more inhale. And the soft, sweet, warming exhale. Revolve back to face the top. You can plant your palms beneath shoulders. Pick up your right knee, shift the hips back, press the earth away from you, and step or glide back downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your heels. As you exhale, we'll sink to our knees, then sit your hips back onto your heels, right where we began. Palms can face either up or down on your thighs and close your eyes. Take a moment here to remember those sensations that we cultivated at the beginning of practice, feeling as though our bodies are full of this warm, liquidy, sweet, spicy flavor. Blink your eyes open, walk your palms forward, tuck your toes behind you, and then lift all the way up and back, downward facing dog. As you inhale, stretch your right leg high. As you exhale, draw right knee to right tricep, then spin your right shin to face the top of your mat, angling it somewhere between 45 and 90 degrees, then softly land your shin down, half pigeon prep. Crawl your left toes back behind you, keep them tucked, and walk your fingertips in, maybe to the front of right shin, maybe beside you, or maybe to your hips. Now as you inhale, pull your right knee and your left knee toward each other to create a bit of a lifting action. Rise all the way up from your pelvic floor through the crown of your head, and then softly release down. You can untuck the left toes, try to keep Pulling your feet toward the midline though to keep them square and then softly fold forward, half pigeon. Rest your head down and feel the ripple effect that happens through your torso. So the shoulders also soften in the back of the neck all the way down to your lower back. Let your jaw be soft. Let your gaze be soft too, like it could melt through whatever you're looking at. And sometimes when we soften the gaze, it allows for something to let go or give in or surrender in the body as well. Stay here for a few more rounds of breath, steeping in sensation.
press down to palms, crawl your fingertips back in, root your palms, tuck your left toes, pick up your right shin and we'll glide back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your left leg high, exhale, hollow your core, pull left knee to left tricep, then spin your shin to the top and try to deliberately place it down, aligning as you transition. Glide the right toes back and walk your fingertips in, maybe all the way to your pelvis or beside you. As you inhale, lift your sitting bones away from the earth, creating buoyancy through the pelvis by drawing your legs together. Maybe reach your arms up and then exhale, land yourself back down to the mat, sprinkle fingertips down and start to fold forward. You can untuck the right toes, but keep right inner thigh spinning up toward the sky. And then allow yourself to surrender fully. Feel gravity like a blanket working you deeper toward the earth. Send your breath right to the core of the sensation that you're feeling. And infuse the breath with qualities of warmth and coziness. Press down and rise back up, crawling your fingertips in. And then plant your palms, tuck right toes, pick up right knee, pick up left shin, and we'll step back, downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your heels, ripple forward to high plank. As you exhale, bend your elbows, magnetize them towards your rib cage, and sink all the way down to your belly, pelvis, heart, and chin. Relax. And reach your palms back behind you, spinning them to face down toward the earth. Then draw your shoulder blades together, press your toes down, and lift your heart and your arms. And really root the tops of your feet to create more of an expansion into the front line of your body. Lift your heart maybe just an inch higher, and then stay, or you can float your feet away from the mat as well. If you do so, Magnetize your inner thighs toward the midline. Activate your hamstrings and your glutes, and then maybe grow even higher and softly release everything down to the mat. And bring your palms to the top, bring them together, and then rest your forehead down onto your thumbs. So the thumbs meet the inner edges of both eyebrows. Create a little bit of a pressure, a dropping of your head down and you can massage your third eye as you stay here and rest. And lift your head and then we'll roll to our backs. So however you'd like to get there, you can thread one arm under the other and just roll gently around. And then grab for your right knee, extend your left leg forward. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, find supine twist. Cross right knee over the midline of your body. And you can take your gaze over right fingertips. And allow this to be very sweet and very intuitive. So rather than forcing anything to twist or open more deeply than it's ready to, let it be full of ease rather than effort. And roll back through center, hug your right knee in one more time, and then extend that leg, pull your left knee in toward your chest, take an inhale. As you exhale, the left leg crosses over, supine twist, Left arm floats wide and gaze over those fingertips if it's okay on your neck. 
Settle your shoulder blades down to the mat and then allow your knee to surrender to gravity. And then roll back to lie on your back. Hug your left knee in one more time. And then draw the right knee in to meet it. We'll curl into a really compressive, tight hug. Squeeze your knees towards your chest. Lift your shoulder blades. Take an inhale here. Exhale, Shavasana. Let everything stretch out long and wide. Toes fall open, palms face up. And then allow yourself to fully drop and simmer in all of the warm, sweet, spicy sensations that you've cultivated with your movement and your breath. Stay here resting until you feel like the perfect storm of swirling spices and flavor thoroughly mixed through your full body. And then begin to bring little movements into your fingers and your toes. Roll one ear toward the mat and then the other. And then stretch yourself out really long. Arms reach back, toes go forward. Inhale. Exhale, roll to one side or the other. Fetal pose. Let yourself just pour down into the earth like you're made of liquid. And then press into palms and we'll rise up to a seat. Keep your eyes closed or soften your gaze as you find Sukhasana. And settle your sitting bones down as you lift your spine and your heart. And then take one more moment here to just feel. Notice how your physical sensations, emotional experiences, or thought patterns may have shifted from when we began this practice to now. Draw your palms to your heart and feel a full body glow like everything is warmer and softer and sweeter. Then lift your thumbs up to your third eye and bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing this warm and cozy flow with me today. I hope you're feeling good. And if you're not already, make sure to go down below and subscribe to my channel because that really supports me. But I hope you had a great Thanksgiving if you celebrated. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you in the next practice. Bye.